Hello, kids college community. My name is Miss B and I am excited to be your instructor for Math Amazing Addition plus Subtraction times Multiplication equals Fun during this summer's session of Kids College at El Camino. Today, I want to share a game with you that will help you get that practice on learning those facts that maybe you haven't mastered yet, or to practice a fact you already know just to have some fun with math. So before we get into the game, you are going to gather a few things that you'll need to participate. So let's take a look at what those things are. The first thing that you're going to do is to gather 25 to 30 paper, plastic, or foam cups. The next thing you need is a Sharpie or permanent marker. And the last thing that you'll need to do is to think about those facts that you haven't mastered yet. Maybe your teacher gave you a one minute test and you had a few that you struggled with, or maybe you just know that you've really been struggling with your seven times tables. Whatever those facts are, get them in your head or write them down because those are the facts that you're gonna write on these cups and study and practice during this game. So let's move on to the next thing. Once you have those facts, the ones that you do not know from memory, you're gonna write them on the cups. So just like you see here, 72 divided by eight, three times eight, five plus six, two, four divided by one eight. It can be um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever you may be struggling with, you can go ahead and write those on those cups. Once you've written them on the cups, on the inside of the cup, you're gonna write your answer. So we have three times eight here. On the inside of the cup, wrote the number 24 because that is the answer. And after you do that for each of the facts or number sentences, you are going to be, move, be ready to move on to the next step and play the game, math tower power. The goal of the game is to be the first person to build a tower of 10. Um, so you're going to first place the stack of cups with your problems in the middle of the table. Uh, once you do that, you're ready to play. Now, you may be playing this game alone. So if you're playing the game alone, you're going to modify it. You're going to be in a race against yourself. So you're going to set a timer for one minute. And in that one minute, you're going to try to answer as many facts as you can and build the tower completely in one minute. If you have a partner, you and your partner will take turns selecting a cup and giving the answer for the problem that is on the cup. If you give the correct answer, you will place the cup on the table to begin building your tower. If your answer is wrong, you will place the cup at the bottom of the stack in the middle of the table, and then you will pass it to your partner because it will be their turn since you got the answer wrong. The person who builds a complete tower without it falling down is declared the winner. Now to start, each tower should have four cups on the base of the tower. A total of 10 cups will complete the tower. So you're gonna have four cups, then three cups, then two cups, then one cup at the top. As you get a little bit more experience with the game, or as you learn more facts, you can build, your you can build larger towers. But to start, we're gonna start with four cups at the base, build it up. The tower should have 10 cups total. So, after a winner is declared, you're gonna mix the cups up and play again. Now, if your tower falls in the middle of the game, you have to place all the cups back in the stack, and then you'll try to answer the remaining problems correctly before your partner completes their tower. 
Once you finish a game, feel free to change it up, change your partner, add different problems, add more cups, or make your tower even bigger. This is going to keep the game interesting and fun. You may even want to play a game against your parents. The goal is to continue practicing those facts so that soon enough, you'll know them from memory. So that's just one game that we'll play during the su this summer, during our Math Amazing class, but there are many more. We're going to teach you a fun way to tackle word problems, fraction, addition, subtraction, multiplication. And we're going to do all this to make sure that we keep math amazing, not boring, and lots of fun. So we hope to see you this summer at Kids College El Camino. See you soon.